Hello guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make classroom tray labels in PowerPoint. But before we start, make sure to subscribe and to like this video. All right, so these are tray labels I made earlier and everything here is based on services that PowerPoint provides. The only thing I did get is a uh, additional font, but I'll pop that in the description below just in case you may want to use it. But everything in here I designed and got from PowerPoint. All right, so it's something you can do in 10 minutes and it doesn't ma matter how much experience you may not have with PowerPoint, it is all very doable. Once you have PowerPoint open, we need to create a new slide. So file, new, blank presentation. You can get rid of these default boxes. And now we need to turn this landscape page into portrait and to be A4 so it works with your printers. To do that, click design, slide size, custom, Slide size, size for A4, and then portrait. Ensure fit. Once it's A4, we need to make a border for your label. So we need to go to insert, shapes. I like to use the rounded corners rectangle, and then you can draw it onto your page. The next step is to uh, empty the shapes color and to give it a nice clear border. So we click it once, shape format, shape fill, no fill and shape outline this is up to you what color you use i'm going to use dark blue and i'm going to give it a weight of about three just to give a bit of thickness to the border once you've got your uh, outline for your labels we need to insert some text so i'm going to use word art so insert and then word art and then click the first one we can change all the styling later drag it in there so it's nice in the middle you can see the little kind of tagline cut through and then we're going to put in the first label. So I'm going to use pencils. I'm then going to change the size to which one you want. Nice and clear, probably a little bit too big there. And then drag it back into the center there so you can see the red line cutting through it. And then you're going to change the font. I found Metro Beardy, which is one I found online. I'll pop the link into that one as well. It's made the text a little bit smaller so we can now use this opportunity just to make it a little bit bigger. Probably a little bit too big there for me. Let's drag it in there. Perfect. All right. So now we've got that. I want to obviously change the color scheme of that. So highlight it, shape format. I like to click down here and then have a look through at some presets that you think will work. I like this one here, but I don't like the gray. So I can then highlight it again. Shape fill, or not shape fill, shape text fill, I should say and click on the color you want. I'm gonna use that blue again, but this time the lighter blue here. Very easy. I might make it a little bit bigger if I possibly can. Anyway, I'll leave it at that. Okay, so now personally, I want an image to go next to it to make it kind of bright and colorful. Um, so I'm going to go to insert, pictures, online pictures, and then I like to do cartoon uh, pencils just something fun and something appropriate for a classroom. Um, maybe something like this would be perfect, insert that. They all have transparent backgrounds as well, so you won't see any white borders. So reduce the size down, perfect. And then what you can do, you can't see pencils at the moment, so we can click on the pencil itself, right click it and send it back. That way it's in the background and out of the way. Very effective, very simple and very clear tray label. So you might be thinking, do I need to copy them all individually and put them back in place? No, you don't have to. You can click select, select all, simply control C or copy and control P again. And then you can drag it like that. That way you don't have to move anything. So now if I wanted to do pens, I simply just type it in. You might need to move that around again because obviously pens is a shorter word and you can make it a little bit bigger as well. And then for pencils, you just get rid of that, go back to insert, and then go to um, pictures, online pictures, and then maybe cartoon pens. And this is the one I used earlier. So click this one here, insert. Got to get rid of this box at the bottom. So you just click it. So I'll show you, click here, and you press um, backspace. And then I'm going to rotate it a little bit, taking this little toggle up here and rotating it. I'm going to shrink it down so it fits. Perfect. 
a little bit more. And again, I'm just going to pop it in the background by right clicking it, centre back. Easy. So I might think actually I want to change the text colour or text style again, highlight it, shape format. I want to add a bit of effects to it, maybe a shadow to run on the outside. I normally like the bottom right. I just need to do it to this one as well. But if you copy and paste it like we did last time, it will work. Shadow and then bottom right. Perfect. All right, so now we've got two. We don't have to copy again twice. We just select all, control C or copy, and we paste it in. And we drag it down and it will fit perfectly. We can make sure if we then select all, select and select all again and drag it up, it will then snap perfectly in place so you don't have any issues with um, when it comes to your printing or anything like that. Let's finish this up with maybe some rubbers. However, rubbers is much longer words, so we can reduce the size. It's not that small. Drag it over. Perfect. Get rid of the pencil. Insert again. Pictures. Online pictures. Cartoon rubbers. Um, and this one here. Perfect. Again, there's a little text at the bottom. So you just need to click it. Click the frame. Backspace. And here we need to reduce the size a little bit as well. A little bit more. And then right click it, centre back. The last one I'm going to do, let's say rulers. Perfect. Again, we just need to resize that a little bit. I might keep it that size for the time being, but I definitely need to get rid of the pen. Insert, pictures, online pictures, and then cartoon rulers to keep in that theme. Okay, anything else a bit more interesting? Mm. This one's probably going to have to do. It's not perfect. Again, it's a text at the bottom, backspace. Oh, that get rid of everything. Text at the bottom, backspace. We've got to resize this. Resize it again. One more time. And then again, right click, centre back. There it is. Four, very basic, clear to the point. Tray labels, perfect for a classroom. It's easy as that, guys. I'll see you next time.